morning, brave awakened ones. This is Veronica of High Realm Holistics. Pardon my appearance, but I need to get this done before the little one wakes up. Um, I wanted to uh, refer back to yesterday when I referenced uh, the emerald ray that I anchored through myself that came straight through Source Creator, guided by Archangel Michael and, um, and Yeshua, Lord Yeshua. And that happened to me last week. And also at that time, I was getting all these strange sensations in my hand, piercing at times, and it really hurt. And now I have a mark right on my mound of Saturn, and it's right above the um, star of Saturn that I had, that I've always had on my hand. Um, and a while ago, about eight years ago, um, I won this scholarship with this uh, with this person, uh, Dr. Olga. I don't think she's in practice anymore. She moved out of South Florida. Um, she she had a program for people who want to be entrepreneurs, and she did it via your hand. She mapped your hand and everything. And she's like, "Wow, you have all these stars: star of Venus, star of Saturn, star of Jupiter." And you know, she was telling me about the Midas touch and all of that. And I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is before I started ascending. I was awake, but I wasn't ascending yet. Um, that happened in 2012. <coughs> and um, <coughs> everything that that was mapped out in my hand has been coming true, step by step. I never thought I'd have holistic health practice. I never thought I'd be a Reiki master. None of that stuff. I said, no, no, no. Never thought I'd be doing these videos teaching, which here I am. I always said, the things I always said I'd never do is the things I'm doing now. Um, so, again, I made that distinction between my spiritual divine mission, my angelic spiritual divine mission, which is my body to serve as this anchor for these light rays. And... Um, I did that, I completed that, right? And with my labor of love, which is what was mapped out in my hand, my labor of love, which now I'm in complete full knowing of at this point, okay? And also continuing to do this and sharing the higher realm magic is also part of my labor of love. Um, again, I never even thought I'd be doing the higher realm. I didn't know what higher realm magic was. It was my oversoul that introduced it to me and told me to put together the Wicca and the alchemy along with the cosmic energy and that makes higher realm magic and if you guys want to check out this amazing video I made from last night um, incorporating the emerald ray into a conjuring I was doing it was pro for prosperity for myself and a, and a couple of friends you will see after we were complete the, the middle candle, which was a green candle for the prosperity, and the Jesus candle, Archangel Michael, and the one for Uranus, just started shooting up. Just shooting. It was like a sparkler, literally, <laughs> on my altar of the violet ray color because I, I am embodying the violet ray. I've completed my embodiment of the violet ray. I'm embodying, it's, Yeshua refers to it as a mantle. I'm wearing the mantle of the violet ray, I'm wearing the mantle of the fire of the sacred heart, and now, as of last week, of the emerald ray, that's what's incorporated in my body. And I told you guys, you know, I didn't even know anything about the emerald ray, never heard about the emerald ray, except what was told by me. Also, Thoth is part of the emerald ray, and the Moldavite energy is part of the emerald ray, and it's the first primal energy ray from source creator. It's associated some, it's with healing, but it's, it's prosperity in general. Um, and it is associated a little bit with Archangel uh, Raphael, but it was even more primal than Archangel Raphael when it was introduced to me. I was just like mind blown, okay? Um, and I, I had mentioned in the previous video that I did yesterday that I know there's a seal associated with it. I was shown a seal, but I didn't know what the seal was. I didn't have time to look into it because of the baby and my holistic practice, which by the way is located in North Miami Beach, Florida. And I also do sessions via Zoom 
uh, higherrealmholistics.com and my webinars for the um, conjurings that we do for the um, Higher Realm Magic, which I have one coming up this Saturday at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And the free one I'm going to be live streaming to, to uh, bind and to um, banish the narcissistic spirit from Earth. Okay? So, just want to make sure I mention that. So, uh, a wonderful subscriber sent me a link to a website and and well was it the website they sent me also or did I find this website on my own I, uh, the website is handtails.com h-a-n-d-t-a-l-e-s dot com okay um, and it talks about the mighty touch and it talks about the wealth generator which is the star of Saturn located on your hand yeah that's the one I found yeah that one but um, the subscriber told me about this symbol and here's the symbol which you could find you know don't be lazy people look it up okay just look up um, star uh, the Midas what's it called again Midas star it's called the Midas star okay and it's not about me printing it out you printing it out it's about you drawing it so go online look up the uh, Midas star it is a Reiki symbol not traditional Reiki it's a Reiki symbol and you would draw it okay uh, for those of you who have purchased or participated you have the recording of my um, of the lump sum prosperity uh, conjuring that we did uh, I suggest repeating it. That's what I did last night. And I drew this symbol on the candle. And I also drew it on a piece of paper and included it inside the candle once done. I had it on the altar and then once everything was burnt out, I put it in the neat little package. I included it in and I did it with a, with a couple of friends. So no, I won't be repeating it for the collective but um, you could try it, okay? And if you don't have it, it's available on my website. It's only 22 bucks. Okay, so again, how cool is that? Well, with me, now I have this mark <laughs> right, right above the Midas star that I completely forgot that I had on my hand. I'm not paying much attention to that, so I went back to the report that Dr. Olga had made on my hand after she did that detailed analysis. I was like, oh wow check 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 and this is the final check with the uh, it's called your gifts okay and the Midas touch is one of my gifts and um, in order for the gift to manifest to bloom into its fullness there are certain things that you have to go through and complete um, okay uh, I, I not a uh, uh, a palm reader she's more than a palm reader you know I don't do analysis of the palm and um, I tried looking up her information to see where she is because I know she was pregnant having a kid so maybe she decided to just focus on on being a mom at this point because she had a few kids already so I didn't see her information everything I saw was from the latest was like 2016 or something, so I don't think she's practicing anymore, but I'm sure you guys can find somebody who's doing it. I don't have anybody to recommend right now. Okay, so yeah, again, this is the Midas star. It's a Reiki symbol. You could look it up and draw it. Okay, and the emerald ray energy is very strong right now. Um, I've incorporated it into my body. I've anchored it <coughs> into Gaia. <coughs> and um, yeah so it's it's here for us and I know a few people ask about my altar and if the pentagram you no know, do I you know pentagrams evil upside down pentagram no man you know why would the violet flame manifest for dark magic it doesn't come on people use your heads uh, it does not manifest for dark magic nor do I do dark magic okay I don't do dark magic uh, and does not manifest for dark magic. And the pentagram is not evil. Everything's, it's like saying the upside down, 
you know, the cross is evil. No, the upside down cross represents, is the inversion. You know they invert everything. Stop buying into stuff. Um, I don't know, it kind of annoys me. Um, so that's it, okay? So see you guys. You can still, um, there's, there's plenty of room still left for the webinar on Saturday the 29th at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Go on my website, highrealmholistics.com, and it's right on the tab. It says webinars and seminars. Click on it. It's right there where you can register, where you, you pay. Once you pay, I get I receive confirmation. I send you the registration. I have to do it that way because when I was doing it where the registration, you'd automatically register on your own. There were so many people registering without paying, which is not cool because I pay a lot of money to have the platform and then I pay a lot of money to get my stuff together and I spend so many hours preparing and that's just so, so not cool. All right. That's not cool. And that's really bad karma. Okay. Um, and that's narcissistic behavior straight up. All right, y'all. So Lady V out. Peace. We got this. Check out my video that I did. I posted, um, like around one o'clock in the morning after the conjuring that we did. And, uh, yo, it's literally like shooting out the violet rays, just shooting out, shooting out of the candles. It's, it's extreme. It's right there. How cool. You can't deny it. You can't deny it. Okay. People could sit there and say whatever, but it's right in your face. So I, I, I love the fact that it's manifesting so clearly for me, for everyone to see. Okay? Lady B out. We got the victory. Bye.